Wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> so we are back with another episode of Cooking with BTS. It is episode 11. We are going to go ahead and make ourselves from Japan. What are they shaped like, baby? Fishy. That's right. Uh, this was one of the ones I was worried I wasn't able to do because I didn't just happen to have a bungee pond mold. So cool enough, Amazon Prime Day had one on sale. So now I have one. So we are going to go ahead and make ourselves our carp bread today. Uh, we're going to have them for breakfast. We are going to do it with the, both the traditional red beans. We are also going to make some with strawberry preserves, uh, cookie butter, and Nutella as well. So we're going to have a variety of different ones because personally, I'm not a huge fan of the red bean uh, paste myself and I'm not really sure what she's gonna like so I figured I would try to get a make, make a variety of stuff and we'll see what goes over the best um, it's going to be a lot of fun to do these I've been trying to explain it to her because at first she was like fish bread I don't know mom and I was like don't worry they're just shaped like fish it's pretty much a donut it's a donut with some filling are you excited about that baby Donut. Yeah, does that sound good? Yeah. So we're gonna go yeah. ahead and get started on our young, our yummy, yummy bungee pan, and we will get going. Okay. 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 Okay.
We have made our variety of bungyo pan. Um, we have our Nutella, we have the cookie butter, we have the jelly ones, and we do have the original red bean paste ones as well. We let them cool because afterwards they were really hot and the cookie butter ones actually like started melting out of the fish. So I was like, I wanna let them cool down a little bit. Which one do you wanna try first? Nutella. You wanna try the Nutella one? All right, you wanna bite it from the tail or do you wanna bite it from the head? Oh, I guess that answers that from the head. All right. Uh, uh, we did make twice the batter since we were going to be making a variety of different flavors. Everything else, though, I kept oh. the way that it was. I just made twice the amount of batter since I knew I was going to be using a bunch of different ones. What do you think of it so far? I haven't bit it yet. You haven't bit it yet? Okay. So she is trying the Nutella one for now. There you go. You took a big old bite of its head. What do you think? It's good. You like it? Yeah. All right. Cool. Which one should mommy try? Should I try the, one of the jelly ones? You want me to try the red bean one? Of course. Yeah. Okay. So I will try the red bean one. <clears throat> That's actually pretty good. You like the Nutella one? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, the book does mention that you can also, if you don't want to go ahead and use like the flour mix that they have, you can just use pancake batter. It was really, really easy. Um, didn't take a lot of work to make them or anything like that. Um, they're a good snack. You like them? Yeah. You think they're good? Okay. Yeah. So they are a hit here. So that is really exciting for us uh, with a bunch of different varieties. Yeah. Can I try the Nutella one? Can I have a bite of your fish? Yeah. Thank you. Tasty. Ooh, that one came out good. The Nutella mm -hmm. ones are good. Remember, remember the beginning? What about it? I don't like how... This thing messed up. Oh, yeah. I don't like how it messed up. I just wanted to eat it. One of the issues that we did have is when we were pulling some of them out, um, they had a lot of the little crunchy bits on the side. We overfilled our first one. Um, and so they came out as one gigantic fish, and we had to, like, break them apart and then take off all the little crunchy bits on the side and stuff like that. So we learned after that to not fill them as much. Um, and so we were able to do much better with the other one so they would come out as singular fish rather than like a sheet of two fish that we would have to separate. I'm gonna try one of the jelly ones and then you can try some of it too, okay? okay. Mm. Mm. Oh, I like that one a lot. I think you'll like that one, baby. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. yeah, go ahead. Mm -hmm. They're really good. They give you a bunch of other options you can also mm. try to do, like if you wanted to do marshmallow and stuff like that, Ooh, they do offer other suggestions. I just tried a few different ones and so far, they're all really, really good. Ooh. They're yummy. Um, these were definitely something that we did eat while I was in Korea and stuff like that. Um, mm. I didn't do the, I did the red bean paste and the custard while I was in Korea. And custard. I did try the red bean paste. Yep. I didn't have custard for this one because when I was looking, it was like a lot of work to go through and make all that. And I was like, let's not do all that. So that's why I decided to try some of the stuff like the Nutella. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead and try the, that's the original one that's supposed to have, okay? Baked beans. Um, it's not baked beans. It's red bean paste, baby. Baked beans. Um, but they're really good. Uh, buying the, the maker for it was definitely yeah. worthwhile. And so I think it's going to be something that we will enjoy and definitely make again in the future, huh? And here is our cult friend. Mm. Yep, there we go. The cookie butter ones are good too. We realized we didn't get to tell you, so we tried those again too. What's your favorite one? Nutella. Nutella? Okay. I think my favorite's the yeah. jelly, to be honest, but they're all <laughs> really, really good. They also do in the book ask the members if they like to bite them from the heads or the tails, and it looks like both of us prefer to bite from the heads. So there's that as well. Definitely make the bungyo pan. They're really mm. good. Yeah? You like the bungyo pan? Yeah. Say it again. Bungyo pan. Bungyo pan. Mm. There we go.